welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you guys enjoy the channel. I hope you enjoy my creations, my designs, and you become part of this family with us by hitting that subscription button, which is free. Everything is free on the channel and being part of the channel and giving those thumbs up or commenting it helps the channel tremendously to circulate worldwide and have other people recognize it so we can keep growing i can't thank you enough and especially to my uh, followers right from the beginning when i knew nothing of codes of crochet which i'm still learning and still you know trying to do my best on it Thank you so much for being there and supporting me. You guys are just a blessing. And newcomers, you are a blessing too because you're becoming part of the channel. So thank you so much to every single one of you. These are Portugal uh, threads. These are four plies, similar to Aunt Lydia number three, cotton. These are 100% cotton thread. We go by number of colors and not name. I'll give you an example like this gray is number 12 okay this doesn't have a number because it's just white it says white on it um, if you use aunt lydia number three obviously your patterns will become bigger because the thread is a little bit thicker than mine and by using number 10 everything is smaller so you have small doilies uh, a lot of times when i create uh big centerpieces they become also, using by thicker thread, of course, uh, you can make tablecloths for a small table over the top or uh, smaller rugs to put underneath a coffee table in an area where there's not too much trafficking going through. Um, so I use 2.75 hook most of the time, sometimes 3, sometimes 3.5. Okay, depending upon what I'm creating, if I want the pieces to go bigger, a small one to tuck in, loose ends, and of course a pair of scissors. Uh, please share the video. Sharing is caring, and uh, it helps us tremendously. Thank you so much, everyone. I also want to mention that a lot of you keep asking me about my threads um, that I know of. They sell only here, this, this uh, brand in Portugal. Uh, they're $12 each ball. Each ball has 100 grams, which is 300 to 325 yards. Uh, shipping included with the $12 minimum or, uh, yeah, minimum of order six balls because it is very expensive to ship out. So that's included already with the price of the shipping. In case you're interested, remember what I said. It goes by number. Most of the time, I will show you the the collar and tell you the number okay i also want to mention that i i also want to mention that i do have a facebook private group if you're interested to join you're more than welcome also uh, a facebook crochet page you can follow me instagram and tiktok all of these things will be below in the description box um all the links so you can join me uh there it's my pleasure to receive you there. Um, I hope I'm not forgetting anything because sometimes I'm, I tend to forget and I'm not feeling well these days either. If the video is too fast for you, please go into the description box. There's a, a link to how to slow down the video. I know sometimes I can get overwhelmed in, in my bubble and crochet too fast and I apologize for it. But you can slow down the video and turn your closed caption on. That your CC should be up top on the right-hand corner. Turn that on and you can put the language of your country. Uh, it automatically translates. You can pause, take notes of everything that I'm calling out the stitch down here. Makes everything easier for you guys. Okay, I don't write patterns. Everybody keeps writing me in. If I have written patterns, I don't write patterns, unfortunately, as I don't read them either. Okay. Okay, everyone. So I had done a tutorial and had uploaded yesterday on a, call it the holidays doily, because you can pretty much do it into the Christmas things or whatever holidays you're in with the gray black silver bling bling on it this is the small round doily could be placemat also um 
So I've just, this is a set. It's an order that I have. It's a set. I've just finished creating the oval um, medium one, okay, which is this one. It's absolutely stunning. I'm glad and happy with it. Um, had to break my head a little bit because of the stitching. Um, had to do a little adjustment, but not the end of the world since I don't write patterns. I don't calculate these things. I do them as I go. So I tried my best with it. And usually if we have to make a few um, adjustments, then no biggie, we do it. So very simple, but yet so beautiful. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do now, I'm not going to do this size. I have created this one, uh, the oval one. Let me think here for a second. Um, so I have 51 chain stitch on this one. 51 chain stitch, okay? But I am going to make a bigger one. Uh, this is for a bedroom, by the way. Um, the person has a lot of blacks and grays and bling bling in the bedroom. Uh, very light colors of grays, and it's got uh, the motive with black and bling on either their bedspread or curtains, things like that. So I'm going to make it for the dresser, which will be double the size for sure, because it needs uh, one meter, um, two sets of one meter. So I'll be doing the tutorial on one. Okay. So I will be using a four ply. These are 100% cotton thread. They're Portugal threads. 2.75 hooks, a small one to tuck in loose in, and a pair of scissors. And I do have my bling bling rag, which is absolutely gorgeous. I know I get asked a lot about these threads. They're $12 um, a ball. They're 100 grams. 300 to 325 yards and that's including with shipping and you would need to order at least minimum of six balls because shipping won't cover it so it's literally impossible since i'm in europe okay uh just to let you know and by the way these are 50 grams and they're exactly the same price as the big ones just because the uh this is a nylon just because they have the bling and this is a much thinner thread, even though it's thinner. I use the same size of hook just to get that length going the same way. Okay, let's get started, everyone. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and share. Sharing is caring. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And thank you so much uh, for your donations and your tips. Thank you. So I'm going to start off with a slip stitch. Now, slip stitch never counts for anything. If your tension is too tight, use a hook or two bigger than your normal size. If your tension is too loose, um, then use a hook or two smaller than your normal size. Okay, so I'm going to do chain stitch. I'm not sure yet how many I'm going to do, but it was probably like 100 to 105. You could always look ahead of the video. And that's what you really should do is always look ahead of the video before you create anything. Because sometimes mistakes are done or I change my mind quite a lot, actually, uh, especially through colors and things like that. In this case, it won't be through colors. This is exactly what I have to do since it's in order. Um, but uh, also turn your closed caption on. You can pause, take notes, because everything will be written down here. It makes everything much easier for everyone. Okay, so you could always advance ahead, and I'll tell you how many chain stitch I have totally. Okay, everyone, so I've done 108 chain stitch. I'm going to come back on my one, two, three, one, two, three, four, on my fifth one with double crochet. We're going to do double crochet, one per stitch. Now it's best that you grab both loops here, as you can see right in the center, because if you grab only that top loop, especially for beginners, it, your pattern will curve like a U shape 
We don't want that. We want a nice straight line. So you want to grab both loops. That means you're leaving only this bottom loop behind. So you're going to come right through it. And that's going to help you tremendously uh, on your um, having a nice straight border on there. Okay, so one double crochet per stitch all the way to the end. Okay, everyone. So I have one left to do. I have 100 double crochets. On my very last one, I'm going to do six double crochets in the same stitch. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we're going to work the other side now. I'm coming not in the ones that we have all in the same. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. But I'm coming on the very first one on the other side right after that. So we have to have also 100 double crochet on this side. So that's not counting the six at the edges. Okay, so you do one per stitch. And I'm just grabbing the back stitch back here from the chain that we did. Trying to hide this little thread as I go. Make everything safe. So I'm going to do this all the way to the end and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So I made a mistake saying 100. It's 104 double crochets. But I'll make sure that I put it in little letters when um, I add it when we're doing this one. 104 double crochet. So now I'm on my last one, and now I need to do six more double crochets, exactly how we have it on the other side. So 104 in this side, 104 in that side. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. This is all on the last double crochet and it gets tight, but that's the way it has to be done. So I'm going to come on my last chain here from where we started with the double crochets and going back and close in with slip stitch. I have to look into my pattern because I tend to forget what I've done. Okay, so now we are going to do, I'm going to go up one, two, three, chain for double crochet. Make sure that you don't miss the next double crochet because it's right after. So we're going to do again one double crochet per stitch all the way around and getting to the corners we'll have the increases so i'll meet you at the other corner and tell you how we're going to increase in the corners okay so basically what we're doing here is 104 double crochets again Okay, on this side, and then 104 on this side. Okay, everyone, so I've done 104 double crochet. We're hitting the edge here, the corner, where we have those six double crochets that we did on the same stitch. We're going to have an increase, two together on each double crochet. That means we're going to have an increase six times. So I already have my first increase. Coming into the second double crochet on the, on the corner, two double crochet on the same stitch. Okay. 
again on the next one two double crochet on the same stitch on the next one so we're doing this increase six times and it's going to give you a total of 12 double crochet here at the edges okay so we started our first increase one two three four five and six so we have 12 double crochets here and now we're going to complete 104 double crochets we're going to do exactly the same thing on this uh what we've done here on the other edge so i'll meet you at the end you have to do your increase on those six double crochets here two on each one it's going to give you the same total of 12 so remember each time we work one side or one edge we'll do exactly the same thing on the other side i'll meet you at the end Okay, everyone, so I've done my increase on this side, also the 12 double crochets. I'm going to come back in on the stitch that I've closed with a slip stitch with a single and one chain, or maybe two chains. Sometimes I do one, sometimes I do two, depending. Next stitch, double crochet, next stitch, double crochet, and next stitch double crochet so we're going to build groups of four double crochet two chain space i'm going to skip one two and come into my third and do again four double crochet one per stitch one two chain skip one two come into my third and create again four double crochets one per stitch now i don't know we might have to make an adjustment at the end but i'll see when we get there okay okay everyone so so far i have 16 groups of four on my 16th instead of doing the one per stitch on my last one here after doing three i'm adding another one on the same stitch okay i need to do that increase in order to fit the right amount okay so this is my 16th group i'm putting two together one two three Let's see if this works out two three and four two chains skip one two and on my third one one two and three i'm going to add another one on the same one here this is the adjustment that i need to make and i will also have to make the adjustment on the other side so now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen groups of four. Chain two. I'm going to skip the first double crochet, come in the second, and add two double crochet on the same stitch. Chain two again skip one into the second one add two double crochet two chain skip one into the next one so we have to do this six times this is in the same stitch one two three chain two skip one into the next one this is my fourth Two chain skip one into the next one my fifth two chain skip one and into my last one and my sixth that's where we have the six the increases so i have one two three four five six groups of two double crochet chain two 
I'm going to skip only one like I did here and come in and do my double crochet. And again, we will do the increase or the adjustment at the end of this row so we can balance out the same thing as this row here. Chain two, one, two on my third one. So I'll meet you at the end so we can balance out together. We have to have the 18 groups. So what you do is, remember we did the, the on the 16th, we added two together. Okay. And then, not the 16th, was that the 16th? Yes, the 16th, we added two together. And then the 18th, we added two together. So we'll do exactly the same thing on this side in order to have the 18 groups, okay? So I'll meet you at the 16th group. Okay, everyone, so on my 16th on this side, I've done two on the same stitch, skip the three, done the four. Here on the last one, I skipped only one and did my increase on the 18th. Okay, I don't know, I must have missed probably a stitch somewhere, it doesn't matter. And continuing to do two chains. So skip one into the next one. We're at the edge, the corner to do those increases two together. So we're doing the increase on the second double crochet. Two, skip one, two chain I should say. And two double crochet on the same stitch. Chain two, skip one, into the next one. So no different than what we did at the other edge. The only difference was one chain space here. Okay, so I pretty much finished up. I have my six groups of two double crochet. Now, I'm going to do five chain. One, two, three, four, five. Three for double crochet, two for space. I'm coming on top of this last double crochet from the four and doing one double crochet. Inside of the space, two double crochet. And one on top of the double crochet again. So we'll complete this when we come around to it. So we're gonna have a row with four double crochet and we'll have a row with a little block. Next row we'll have four double crochet here. Next row we'll have a block, two chain. Coming on the last double crochet, double crochet, two inside of the two chain space. So we're building these four double crochet groups again. Two chain into the last double crochet, in the center, two double crochet, and on the last one. We're going to do this until the edge here. When we get to the edge, so we're going to do it until here, and then we'll do the two chain, and we'll have only one double crochet. Okay, exactly how we have here. All four corners will be one double crochet on the last one here. Okay, or the first one on this side, I should say. The last one on this side, and of course here. But I'll meet you there at the edge, okay? Okay, so I'm here on the last one. Two chain on the last double crochet, one double crochet only. Now, a lot of you that follow me have seen me create a lot of this pattern, different styles, but still doesn't change that the base is the same. So. On my first double crochet, two chain space, okay? So we'll always have one row of four and one, one double crochet. Next row, we'll have one double crochet here, two inside and one here. So we'll have a row of four, next row of one. First double crochet, one double crochet. On the second one, we're doing the increase two together. So that means our edges, our corners are going to increase. So this is what I mean. One row of four, one double crochet. Row of four, one double crochet. And it continues on until the length that you desire. So we're doing the increase. So we have this row of two, this one three. Always 
adding on the last double crochet. This is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So I'm going to do mine. You have to repeat the same thing on the other side. Two chain space always. Hope you guys are getting ready for for Christmas already. Um, they're starting to take out um, the um, city hall, I guess the island lights, if I would say it correctly, to have the island start getting decorated. And let me tell you, it really does get decorated, this island, from one end to the other. So it is a lot of light and a lot of decor and... It's absolutely gorgeous, stunning. Hopefully I can go at some point downtown at night around the holidays and, and film a bit for you guys to see and, and show you what it looks like when around Christmas time. Okay, so increase on your last double crochet. We're going to continue to do. Don't forget that when you get here, you have to do only one double crochet in one chain, exactly how I showed you a row of four, a row of one, a row of four, a row of one. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So I finished my row, and now we're just going to repeat rows after row the same way. So I'm going to come back in. I'm going to do my single, my two chain. That's my first double crochet coming back in again and building those four double crochets. So two inside and one on top of the double crochet. Exactly how we did here. Two chains. So we know that the next row, it will be one double crochet only on here. Exactly how we have here. The increase is still continue. I don't know how many rows I'm going to do yet, but you could always advance the video and see how many rows I have done. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do eight rows. Or should I say until I have eight double crochets here at the edges or 10 like I have on that one. I will have to see the length, what I'm happy with. So all you have to do is just repeat the same thing, advance the video and see how many rows I have done. Okay. Okay, everyone. So for me, it's pretty wide enough, but you can go um, bigger wider if you like not bigger wider um so i have 12 double crochets so that means if i'm going to count i'm going to count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen rows starting from the very first one here if not then you're counting um so we started with a group of two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve double crochets. Now in this row, I'm gonna close out at twelve double crochets. On this row here, it's going to be just double crochets all the way around. So I did a single two chain, one double crochet per stitch. want to check something in my other pattern I'm going to do two double crochet inside of the two chain and one per stitch two inside of the two chain and one Double crochet per stitch. So I'll meet you at the edge to make sure that we are on the right track. Okay, so I'll meet you at the edge here, just before the corner. Okay, everyone, so I'm arriving at the edge. So just before the 12 double crochets there, where we have the two chain, two inside, one per stitch. Where we have the increase, we're still going to continue the increase. 
So we should have 13 double crochets here. On the motive. We're going to do the increase. Two on the same stitch. So starting from the motive, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13. We're going to do one double crochet inside of the two chain, only at the edge, everywhere else on the sides is two double crochet, and continue to do one per stitch. So we're at the end here, we're doing the increase and one in the two uh, stitch, okay? So finishing the edge, now we're going back into two double crochet inside of the two chain space at the edges and one per stitch. We're going to repeat the same thing at the other end on the other edge. So as soon as you get to the two double crochet, the two chain here, then you do the two double crochet, continue one per stitch, doing our increase in one only at the edge, going around exactly how we did on this side, okay? Okay, everyone, so I finished my row. I'm coming in with my black and silver. I'm going to do a slip stitch knot, and I'm still using, even though it's a nylon and it's a thinner thread, I'm going to use the same size of hook. Okay, so I'm just going to start here at the last double crochet from the motive in the corner. And we're going to build little blocks all the way around. So I've started with the same. I'm going to try to hide this thread as I go. One, two, three, four, five chains. So single two chains, my double crochet, and two for space. So I'm going to skip one, two. I'm going to come into the third one. One, two chain. If you feel that it's too tight, you can do a three chain. Skip one, two. I'm into my third one. Now, we're going to do this all the way around, except on the edge, we're going to skip less. Two chains, skip one, two, into the third one. And I don't know if I need to make an adjustment at the end. Might have to make an adjustment, like I told you from the beginning. I just pretty much go and then see if I need to adjust and I will. One, two on my third one. Okay, until, now if I find that it's pulling too much, then I will be doing a three chain. And because this thread is thinner, which probably yours is thicker, you can do a two chain. I might have to do a three, because this is a way thinner thread. One, two, and three. Skip one, two, into the third one. But if you're using Aunt Lydia number three, uh, do only um, two chain, not three, okay? This is very thin, so I, don't, I can't have my pattern pulling. So we'll have to do three chain, one, two, and three. And also depends on your tension, too. That's a way for you to figure out also, okay? I'll meet you at the other edge just before we enter the corner everyone so pretty much arrived here right on the first one from the motive now 
I'm going to do a two chain. I'm going to skip only one and into the next one because this is the corner. So it takes more little squares. Okay. Two chain, skip one into the next one. In your case, you might um, do only a one chain if you're using Aunt Lydia number three cotton, okay? One, two, on my second double crochet. So skipping one into the next one. Skip one into the next one until I finish the corner up to this side here. Okay, I'll meet you there. Okay, everyone, so pretty much landed on the last one also. And now we're going to return or I'm going to return to my three chain and one, two on my third one. And you probably going to do only two chain. Okay. One, two on my third one. And this is how it's going to be all the way around exactly the same way. And then when you get to the other edge, you're going to end up on the first one and just continue by skipping only one, probably one chain space between them. Okay. Okay, everyone, so I've reached the end. Now, normally, since we are in the corner, we would have jumped one. I need to have even numbers of squares. So I have 160 squares with this one. So I'm not going to, I'm not only going to jump one, but I'm going to go directly into the last one. So as long as you have um, even numbers, and that means by by four, let's say. So like we have six, 160 on here. So that means 164, 168. You know what I'm saying? By fours or 156, something like that. So I'm going to cut my thread and I'm going to tuck in the loose ends and come in with the gray. Okay, everyone. So I'm coming in with the gray and I'm coming in on the left side so where I have my three chains which is right on the mark here I'm going to do a single two chain I'm going to build a shell of three double crochets here now if we need to make an adjustment at the end we will hopefully we don't have to but if we do it's not a big deal so three double crochet, two chain space, and three more double crochet. I'm going to do one, two, three chain. I'm going to skip a block coming into the next one with a single. One, two, three chain. Into the next one with a single. And one, two, three chain. Skip the last, the next block, and do your shell. This is how it's going to be all the way around the same way. Always skipping one block at the beginning. I'll show you in a second. I'm just going to complete my shell here. It makes more sense when I show you. So, shell, skip a block, three chain, single, three chain, into the next one, single, three chain, skip the block, and shell again. So, one, two, three, skip a block single one two three into the next one single and one two three skip the last block here and do your shell okay so we're going to repeat this all the way around the same way hopefully we're going to end up perfect at the end if not we'll make an adjustment okay okay everyone so i'm gonna have to make a little adjustment here so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven little squares left. Okay. So I'm going to do only two chain. I'm going to come in the next one. I'm not going to skip this one. And then three chain into the next. One, two, three chain. Just have to see here. 
into the next one and do my shell. So I'm not skipping any on this one here. Sometimes it's a little adjustment that we have to make. Could have done a two chain here <clears throat> since we're not skipping. Look better with a two chain and not three. Exactly how I did on the other side. G on here. So two chain. Coming into the next one. I'm not skipping any here. And doing my shell. Okay, now I can skip. So I had one arrangement only, which is fine. Three chains, skipping one. One, two, three, into the next one. And one, two, three, chain, and going into my second chain. Okay, so I had to make an adjustment on one here, which is no biggie, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. I'm going to go back and check if I did everything correct because sometimes it's a mistake we might have done here. And for that reason, sometimes we have to make an adjustment. So I'm just going to overlook mine again to make sure. And here it is. So it's best that you overlook yours also. You see, I'm in three singles here. So this is where I went wrong. And for that reason, it didn't end up properly at the end. So I'm just going to take it down and fix it. As you can see, I have four chains of three. Now, normally a lot of people might have just added it and let it go. But just to show you that if we don't look over carefully, then... This is where we go wrong on the mistake. And this should have been a shell here. Okay. So I'm going to continue again. Hopefully we're on the right here again. A big mistake. So I, may, I jumped here also. Look at that. So I went here and did a single. <clears throat> so I've jumped here and I've jumped here. And that reason... That's why I couldn't arrive correctly at the end. So it's important that you check yours before anything if you're not arriving at the end correctly because mistakes can be done exactly how I just done mine, okay? Now, like I said, I would have added it and fixed it and, you know, did it completely the right way again. But just to show you that I make mistakes also and took it down. And so go through yours and make sure that you're not over skipping. Okay. Okay. So that was the biggest mistake. I arrived perfectly on there. Thank God I went back and checked. So you should always do that too in case you get to the end and you're not arriving on the right little squares and you have done something wrong because the amount of squares is perfect okay so this would be the last one i've skipped one done my my chains and my singles skip the last one and i'm right at the shell so it's just perfect okay now i'm going to go up one two three for double crochet and one chain into the next one double crochet one chain into the next one double crochet one chain inside of the two chain space we're going to do three double crochet and one chain space between them this is my third inside of the two chains so we're supposed to have nine double crochets all together 
one chain space between them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One chain. Coming in the center of that three chain that we did with a single one chain and proceed again to repeat exactly what we just finished doing with the nine double crochets. We're going to repeat this all the way around the same way. So inside of the shell, one double crochet, one chain. One double crochet, one chain, one double crochet. So we have three, one chain, and then one per stitch. One chain, and into the center middle one with a single. And repeat everything again. Once I finish this row, I'm going to cut my thread and I have one more row left, which is the peacocks with the black at the end. So one more row left, peacocks at the end. Okay, everyone. So I pretty much finished doing all of my motives here. The nine double crochet, one chain, single in the center, one chain, and then the nine double crochets again. So I'm on the last row with the peacocks. And you can pretty much start anywhere you'd like. So I'm just going to start here. It doesn't matter where I start. So I'm going to do a single. And I'm going to try to hide this thread as I'm going. So I'm going to do one, two, Three. Because this is the first one, I will have to come in here where we did the closing of that single and do my peacock with a single going into the next stitch. Single, one, two, and three. Now I'm going to come behind that single. I'm not doing on the single of the peacock, okay? I like it better this way. It's easier, it's faster, and it's pretty. So single on the next one. Okay, so the first one single, closed in with three chain peacock, and then behind it. One, two, three chain. Coming in behind that single and closing in with single. So we'll have three peacocks on this side and three on this side of three chain. On my fourth one here, I'm doing a six chain. So single, one, two, three, four, five, six, and coming behind that single and closing in with single. Next space, single, one, two, and three. Behind it, and again the next one, so we're having three peacocks on this side also. Next one, one, two, and three. This is my third peacock, and I'm coming from behind that single. Now, the last one, we don't do the peacock. We just do the single. Now, because my thread is thin and it's nylon, it's much thinner than my regular thread, I'm going, you're using Aunt Lydia number three, do only the triple. Okay, roll twice. I'm going to have to roll another time because it's thin and I need it to be stretched. So in the center here, we have that middle three chain that we did the single. I'm going to come right below it where the black double crochet is into the gray. And I'm going to stretch it. So I believe this is called the quadruple, but that's because my thread is too thin. I need that length to go up. I don't want my pattern to pull. And then I'm coming automatically in the first one again. Okay, but if you're using, you're only doing a triple if you're using Aunt Lydia number three. And then I'm starting again my peacocks, three chain, coming behind, and single. Next space, one, two, and three, behind, and again. 
one, two, and three behind. So I have my three peacocks on the fourth one, single, and doing six chain. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Coming from behind, closing with single into the next one, and starting my peacocks again. So I will have the measurements below. I am going to create another uh, pattern like this, but bigger because it's for the dresser. And uh, so I'm still debating if I'm going to do the tutorial since it's the same thing. The difference is it is longer. So that, of course, there's more stitch to it. Okay. So and then you do one chain. Okay where we have that center round one here we're going to follow that right below into and I have to do it three times I almost forgot so I'm grabbing that gray I'm stretching my thread I have to this is a thin nylon and into the first one one two three and then start over again Okay, so pretty much it gives me enough strength or uh, length, I should say, not strength. Thank you, Jesus, for the strength anyway, right? And this is what it looks like. And then coming to the end here, you do the same thing. You'd come below into the middle one here on the gray and do your triple if you're using Aunt Lydia number three. Okay, so thank you so much. I'll have it, uh, the little video and the pictures at the end, so you can see pretty much the size. I will also link uh, the doily that goes with it, and like I said, the smaller version of, or the oval smaller version, is done with 51 um, chain stitch. Okay, same, same concept, same thing, it's just shorter, and I will be creating one bigger than this one okay so thank you i send you much love much hugs thank you so much for your loving support your beautiful messages god bless you stay safe and uh, lots of prayers for the world for yourselves and for me um, for better days and brighter days thank you so much please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video and share if you can sharing is caring and of course, if you're not subscribed and you like the channel, please do subscribe. It costs nothing. It's free. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.